Now, I know that many well-intentioned and well-informed Georgians want a mask mandate. And while we all agree that wearing a mask is effective, I'm confident that Georgians don't need a mandate to do the right thing. That was Georgia Governor Brian Kemp just seconds ago talking about why he is fighting mask mandates. Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms is firing back after Georgia's governor filed a lawsuit against her and city council members to stop them from mandating that face masks be worn in public. Georgia continues to experience a big surge in coronavirus cases. Joining us now is Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Mayor, uh, the governor has this sort of impromptu press conference that we've been following along, and he just said um, Georgians don't need a mandate to do the right thing. Your response? Um, this is all very bizarre, quite frankly. Uh, the city of Savannah enacted a mask mandate July 1st. His hometown of Athens, Georgia, enacted a mask mandate on July 8th. And then the city of Atlanta followed. And, and I don't think it was happenstance that this lawsuit was filed the day after Donald Trump visited Atlanta. And I pointed out that he did not have on a mask at Atlanta's Hartsville-Jackson International Airport. And that was in violation of state law. And so what I, what I see happening is that the governor is putting politics over people. Uh, we all know the CDC is in our own backyard. The CDC has said that wearing a mask will stop the spread, help stop the spread of this virus. Overwhelmingly, people in Atlanta support a mask mandate. And so it's just, it's a waste of taxpayer money. And we are spending time uh, fighting each other when, when this virus doesn't understand politics and doesn't, it doesn't respect that it's the state or it's the city. It's impacting us all. And I'm personally impacted as I sit here a COVID-19 positive in quarantine. So you're saying that the governor did not take the same action. He did not sue Savannah or Athens for their mask mandate. Only you and your city council. And so you think it is personal retaliation? I do believe it's personal retaliation. And he sued us personally. He did not sue the city of Atlanta. He filed suit against myself and our city council personally and this was one day after the president's visit to our city and uh, uh, again it is a complete waste of time and money to file suit against the capital city of the state in which he is supposed to lead it is uh, as we are struggling with testing we don't have proper contact tracing it took me eight days to get my test results back when I was tested, yeah. one person in my house yeah. was asymptomatic and positive. By the time I got my results back, two other people, my husband and I, were positive. That's a better use of our money, not on silly lawsuits. Um, I have just been told that he just brought, brought you up. So as we examine this, we have to look at first, there's a need for Medicare for all. This crisis is an example of the need, the great need. Every person in America needs to have free health care, universal health care, free and full paid for health care. And when you do this, second thing is you'll have more entrepreneurship, more businesses. You'll have you'll have a greater income coming into state and local and federal federal government. Uh, the the economy will boom because you don't have to worry about employer-based health care. It's logical. Let's catch up with the rest of the world. And let's all put on masks. It's so important. The first commandment is love God. Second one is love your neighbor as yourself. Who's your neighbor? Go to Luke chapter 10, the Good Samaritan parable. Anyone who needs our neighbor. Let's care for one another. For we're all one. We're all human beings.